Now, if I was going to do sine of 60 degrees, ladies and gentlemen, again, I have to use a different special right triangle. Here, I have 60, 30, 90. <clears throat> because remember, if you guys remember, we created this by my 60-60 or an equilateral triangle, and we cut the equilateral triangle in half. That's how we came up with the relationship of a 30-60-90 triangle. So the first one was since it was 45 degrees, that came from a 45-45-90 triangle, which is a special triangle. And now this one's out of a 30-60-90. So if you guys remember the relationship here, if this is x, my hypotenuse was, anybody, anybody, 2x. And my long leg is now x square root of 3. That is the relationship of your special triangles, which we went over two class periods ago. Class period before that. Yeah, I was gone Friday. I was there on Wednesday. That's when we went over this on Wednesday. So now, let's go and look at this. So now what I'm trying to do is try to find the sine of 60. So the sine, if you guys remember, the sine of any angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So for sine of 60, I need to determine what is the opposite side. So I asked Seth, Seth, what is the opposite side of this triangle of 60 degrees? What's the opposite side? x square root 3. And Keith, what is the hypotenuse of this triangle? Huh? 2x. So I do opposite over hypotenuse. My x's divide to 1, and I'm just left with the square root of 3 over 2. Done. Final answer. Now, also to check it with your calculator to find the decimal approximation, um, Jared, if you want to move up to here, I'll be more than happy to have you come up here. Um, sine of 60 degrees equals 0.86. 6. Yeah.